Good morning everyone. My name is Dan Lloyd A. Malaki from Bitelid IE3A and I'm going to discuss and demonstrate the 10 basic hand embroidery stitches. After this discussion, I'm going to show you a demonstration about the 10 basic hand embroidery stitches. So, after the discussion and demonstration, the student will be able to learn on how to sew the 10 basic hand embroidery stitches. So, these are the 10 basic hand embroidery stitches. First is running stitch, back stitch, split stitch, stem stitch, fringe knot stitch, chain stitch, feather stitch, satin stitch, lazy daisy stitch, and seed stitch. Running stitch is a work by passing the needle in and out of the fabric at a regular distance. So, this is the example of the running stitch. Just look at the picture and you will be able to identify the running stitch. Second is back stitch. A stitch so one stitch length backward on the front side and two stitch length forward on the reverse side to form a solid line of stitching on both sides. So this is the example of the box stitch. Split stitch. In split stitch, one end of the stitch splits the thread of the stitch before it. It helps if your chosen thread is a thick, soft strand or if you use more than one strand, preferably an even number of strands. So this is the example of the split stitch. So next is stem stitch, an overlapping stitch that produces a corded appearance. Just look at the picture and you will know the stem stitch. Next, fringe knot stitch. By winding the thread one or more times around the needle and drawing the needle back through the material at, at the point where it came out. So this is the example of the fringe knot stitch. Just look at the picture. Next is chain stitch. Is a type of stitching where one continuous thread is looped back on itself, meaning there is no bobbin thread. So just look at the picture and you will identify the chain stitch. Next is feather stitch. A feather stitch loop stitches work alternately to the right and left of the central rib. Fly stitch is a categorized with a feather stitch. You just look at the picture. Satin stitch. Use the fill in a small sign. It is a series of straight stitch that is closely stitched together. So the satin stitch is just like a straight stitch. So just look at the picture. And next is lazy daisy stitch. A simple loop arranged in groups to create a flowers. So just look at the picture and and combine in a line to make a chain stitch or work individually to create a leaves. Mm, so it can create also a leaves. The lazy daisy stitch. So next is the seed stitch. So this is the last stitch of the 10 basic hand embroidery stitches. So seed stitch knitting is a common, easy stitch pattern in knitting. It is made by alternating knit stitches and purl stitches within a row and between rows. So this is the example of the seed stitch. 
just look at the picture so now I'm going to show you the demonstration on how to sew the 10 basic hand embroidery stitches That's all. Thank you. I hope you learn a lot from my discussion. <laughs>